In this video, you're going to see how you can take a multi-state opt-in form and turn it into an upsell. Hi, I'm Matt from Thrive Themes, and I want to show you how you can take something simple like your lead generation forms and actually not just get new subscribers, but new customers too. I've got two strategies to show you how to do this. So let's get started. So here's how to get started with these two strategies. The first is what I call the premium digital download strategy. Now, I'm going to assume you already have a multi-state light box opt-in form set up on your website. If not, we have lots of resources on how to do this on the Thrive Themes website, and I've linked to some of them in the post below. But assuming you already have that set up, your first state in the multi-state light box will be basically making your free guide offer. Assuming that's a good one and it actually works to convert your visitors into subscribers, they'll go from that offer state to a thank you state. But here's where we're gonna make a change. Instead of just saying thank you and allowing them to close the light box, the other thing we can do is actually offer them an upsell product. Now, this isn't going to be you know, a $200 product. We're going to offer them a minimally priced under $10 product. And in this case, this digital premium digital download strategy, it should be less than $10. So it's gonna be something that's very valuable, but not so expensive that it's hard to say no to. And this is typically known as a tripwire. Okay, so in this case, my free guide was just, hey, here's how to get started in Acro Yoga, so then you can go to the park and participate in your first jam. Make that super easy. But here I'm saying, hey, if you really want to accelerate your training, here's this quick start package with a lot more information and some worksheets and, um, and just packed with all this value. And for a couple bucks, um, you can download it and accelerate your training. So that's kind of the thing to think about for a premium download. What's enough value that's kind of more than free, but less than $10? That's the sort of minimally priced product, digital product we would try to put together for this upsell strategy. So assuming that's a good offer and the price is right for people, we can actually integrate our opt-in form or our Thrive Leads form with a payment processing and digital delivery tool or third-party service. In this case, I've integrated it with Sendal. So when somebody clicks, I can set up that buy button to send people to a Sendal checkout page. If you're curious to see how that integration works, I'm not gonna show it in this video, but I've described how to set it up in the post. Okay, so now I'm ready to complete the order and make the upsell purchase. What happens next? Well, I can set up my Sendal to redirect the customer to a thank you page on my site where they'll get the information uh, basically thanking them for their purchase and letting them know that the digital file is on their its way to their inbox and that's done via send out and then i can just drop a, a call to action button here to send them somewhere else on my site so i can thank them and funnel them back into my website somewhere in this case i sent them back to the blog so that's strategy number one this is a way we can turn a simple free guide opt-in form into a low price, less than $10 premium guide upsell. Now let's talk about strategy number two. This is basically the same exact thing, but instead of a premium guide, we're going to offer a premium course. Now this isn't an online course you're going to charge $200 for. This is, let's say, a $20 or less sort of course. And the idea here is to basically turn whatever your free guide is into a quick start video course. So the upsell idea is that they sign up for the free guide and then the next date, you're gonna say, hey, if you really wanna accelerate your training, why don't you take the video course version of this for 20 bucks or less? And that's what I'm gonna show you now. So the first date is the exact same. There's no need to change that. But then when it changes to the thank you state, we do the same thing. We let them know that the free guide is on its way to their inbox via your 
email marketing service like ActiveCampaign or MailChimp, whatever you're using. But now I'm gonna offer that online course version of the free guide. This is a really great strategy because online courses just tend to have a higher perception of value. And it's not like you have to come up with something groundbreaking here. You're just turning whatever your free guide was into a video course and selling it for less than $20. So again, you're gonna get subscribers. And then because those subscribers were signing up for that free guide, they're great candidates to offer the online course to. So let's say they pull the trigger on that. The way this works is with our Thrive Themes online course plugin called Thrive Apprentice integrated with Sendout. So the first step after the upsell state is actually to send your potential customer to a registration page to create a student account for themselves on your online course area. This is something you have full customization over in the Thrive Apprentice plugin. But just to show you how it works, I created this demo account signup page. And we create the account. And at this point, after their account's created, they'll get sent to the checkout page, uh, the send out checkout page. Again, there's more information about how this integration works uh, on our website and in the post below. But this is just to show you how this setup works. For this example, I've set up three demo courses in my demo sites online course area, just to show you what the things you can build. So the first is, let's say a public course. So anybody can access this course. There's no login restriction for it. I have a second course that's only for subscribers. So you don't have to purchase anything to access this, but you do have to essentially join the, the email list and create a student account for yourself in the online course area. And then the third type of course is an actual premium course that people have to pay for. And a membership plugin basically has to handle that restriction. In the case, in this case, it's send out that is monitoring the course access. So from here, because the paying customers logged in and Sendal has checked them out as, as a paying customer, now they have access to the course and they can get started. And with Thrive Apprentice, you can, you can basically build great courses for yourself very easily. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to take your multi-state opt-in forms and turn them into actual upsells, not just to get subscribers, but customers too. If you have any questions or comments about the two strategies discussed in this video, just leave them in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.